Hey, morning everyone. This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video today, we are going to cover the topic of troubleshooting issues with Ledger devices. Let's go. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I know that support can be a little slow to respond to emails. Um, sometimes it takes us a few days to get back to you guys, but you might have an issue that's easily solvable. So I wanted to show you some tips and tricks uh, that you can use to try to solve issues by yourself and you might not even need a larger support's help. Of course, we're always here to help you guys, but if you can solve your issue yourself, that will save you time and energy as well. So let's go through those tips and I hope this video is gonna be useful for you. Tip number one is to always, always make sure that your Ledger setup is completely up to date. That includes Ledger Live, but also the firmware that's running on your Ledger device, but also the apps. Most of the issues that we see at support can be very easily solved by just making sure you are on the latest version of Ledger Live and firmware and apps as well. So let me show you how to go about it. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that you are running the latest version of Ledger Live. It's pretty easy to verify if you are in the latest version by just going into Ledger Live, just like this, then go into settings, uh, then you can go to about, and here's the version of the copy of Ledger Live you're running on your computer. All right, so in my case, that 257.0. Now I'm gonna compare that with the number here that appears in the box. So this is the Ledger Live download signature page. It's another location where you can safely download Ledger Live. Um, but what's cool about this page is you can actually download any version of Ledger Live, not just the latest. So you can see that the number at the top here is 257.0. That tells me that I am on the latest version of Ledger Live. Once you've updated to the latest version of Ledger Live, you can go ahead and open Ledger Live. And um, so there's a few things that's going on here. First, you see this big orange banner at the top. This one tells me that there is a new firmware update available. Uh, another way you can know that there is some updates for you is by uh, looking at this blue dot here next to the My Ledger section. Uh, if that's the case, that means that there are uh, firmware updates or app updates that are waiting for you. And it's highly recommended to do those updates as soon as they pop up on Ledger Live. Just don't wait because if you wait for too long and you continue updating Ledger Live, but your firmware and app version stay behind, then you might get connection issues eventually. And so typically once you're done updating the firmware to the latest version, then Ledger Live will display this message here. Firmware is up to date. That means that you're good, you are on the latest version. Um, and again, you might also need to update all your different apps. This is particularly the case for Polkadot and Kusama because each new version of the app will break the previous version of the app. So if there is an app update, then uh, if you're still on the old version of the app, then you won't be able to connect to the Kusama network or the Polkadot network and do your transactions. So that's why it's super important to keep uh, those apps up to date. If you want to learn more how to completely update your Ledger setup, you can find all the steps that are described in this article called How to Perform a Complete Update of Your Ledger Setup. This article lives on the support.ledger.com homepage. It's here, How to Perform a Complete Update of Your Ledger Setup. Another question that we get a lot is, is my token XYZ supported in Ledger Live? And this question can also be very, very simply answered by going on the help center. So you would go to, again, support.ledger.com, then you just type supported in the search bar here. And what you're looking for is uh, supported coins and tokens in Ledger Live, this article here. And here's the list of all the different coins and tokens that are supported in Ledger Live, um, in the latest version of Ledger Live, so in this case, 257.0. And you get them all, so you've got all the coins, so individual blockchains that are supported, and then all the different tokens that are supported. You've got the network on which they are supported, the ticker, the contract the address, you've got the name of the coin, and you've got whether or not the counter value are disabled, which means that in Ledger Live you'll be able to see the token, but not the fiat value of the balance. The best way to search the list is by going to coin market cap, for example, 
you would just grab any token that you are interested in checking. So for example, Curve uh, on Ethereum, you would just copy the address, go back to the list here, do Control F, then paste the contract address in. And if you get a hit, this means that the token is supported in Ledger Live, meaning that you will be able to see it in Ledger Live when you send it to your Ethereum account. So the second tip is how to best use the Help Center so you can troubleshoot issues yourself. The Help Center is at support.ledger.com. Again, that's support.ledger.com. And it has tons of tutorials, educational material, tips, things like absolutely everything is on the Help Center. Um, so here's how to use the Help Center best, right? So first on the homepage, you will find a section called frequently asked questions. And those are some of the issues that are happening right now, right? So for example, these days we are having um, a lot of connection issues between Ledger and MetaMask. There is something about TronStake. This is also very current. Um, and then there is also like a bunch of articles that are evergreen. So for example, how to keep your 24 word recovery phrase safe. The weekly tech update, which is a, a video update that we do every single week on Twitter. Very, very useful uh, link. So if you click here, then you'll find a link to the replay on Twitter. And the update is basically a way for you to know what's the most important about Ledger, Ledger products, new bugs, but also workarounds and solutions on any particular week. So definitely recommend it to watch. Now going back to the Help Center. So let's say, for example, I've got an issue with MetaMask. I'll just type MetaMask here. I don't even have to look or touch those top articles. I'm just going to press enter right in. And here I'm presented with a long, long list of different articles, but at least I'm getting all the results for articles containing the word MetaMask. And then I can just browse the list until I find the article that's most relevant to my issue. But again, if it's a very current issue, you don't necessarily have to browse like through pages and pages of articles. You can just go to the frequently asked questions section. And typically there will be an article that addresses the you know, current bugs. Another tip that works very well when trying to troubleshoot a ledger issue is to go on Google and type the issue facing, so for example, MetaMask connection, and then add the words ledger support, and then press enter. You just get like a nice little condensed version of the things that are most helpful for this particular issue. So another way you can get support is via Twitter. The Twitter is pretty cool because we're very active on Twitter, but it comes with a certain number of dangers. Be very careful when you are on Twitter because if you are asking questions about Ledger or MetaMask, typically you will be approached by a ton of scammers that will try to obtain your 24 word recovery phrase. So typically those people, they will try to pass for Ledger employees or Ledger support accounts or the official Ledger accounts and they will always get into your DMs or ask you to fill a form, but eventually what they want is your 24-word recovery phrase. And again, if you share your 24-word recovery phrase with uh, anyone, that person you're sharing the phrase with will be able to access your accounts. They don't even need access to your device, right? By just having the recovery phrase, they'll be able to punch that phrase into their own device or a crypto wallet and then steal your funds. So again, guys, the legit version of the support or any Ledger employee for that matter will never, never ask you for your 24 word recovery phrase. We don't want to know your phrase. It's for your eyes only and only your eyes. And uh, just, just please don't share it because you're just going to be scammed. Okay. So another way to get a hold of us very quickly is to join one of our YouTube live sessions. So you would just go to the official uh, Ledger YouTube account. So that's just at Ledger. And then you can navigate to the live session here and you will be able to sign up for an upcoming uh, live support session or live onboarding. So live onboarding is great for beginners because um, those are the sessions where someone from our team will show you how to get started. If you just got a new Ledger device, so how you set up the device properly, best practices for keeping your recovery very safe, Things like that are super useful for beginners. You can also ask any questions that you want in the chat. Once the host has finished going through the, the onboarding process, then they will answer your questions. Uh, so those live onboarding sessions are every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Then we've got the support sessions. 
And those are more typical like AMAs. Um, you can ask us anything you want and we run those Monday to Friday. You can also sign up directly on the, the landing page here by just clicking notify me and when we go live, you'll get a notification. And of course, if any of those tips don't work for you, you can still reach out to us the conventional ways and click the contact us button at the bottom here and then start a conversation with the bot and then you'll be able to create a ticket and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But again, guys, if you need support um, urgently or if you have just, just a simple question to ask, then you can also join our live sessions and that's probably the best way for you to get immediate support. So again, we hope to see you in those sessions. If not, we'll see you in your emails or on Twitter. Again, be super careful, okay? Just don't, um, don't fall for scammers. Don't share your 24 recovery phrase. Please don't let scammers get your crypto. That being said, uh, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.